Some people can spend a lifetime fighting for a single cause, but for Mary Church Terrell, one cause just wasn't enough. The daughter of two formerly enslaved people, Mary Church Terrell was born in 1863 in Memphis, Tennessee. As one of the only black students at Antioch College Model School, she faced racism and was often isolated from her peers. In response to such discrimination, Mary dedicated herself to her education to prove that she could accomplish anything. She went on to earn undergraduate and graduate degrees and teach at two prestigious black schools. Mary eventually left teaching to work across many platforms to empower others to advocate for racial justice and women's rights. In 1892, she founded the Colored Women's League, which provided night classes for women, childcare for working mothers, and kindergarten classes for black children, among other services. In 1896, she was named the first president of the National Association of Colored Women. As an influential member of the National American Woman Suffrage Association, she spoke at conventions, emphasizing the importance of solidarity among women of all colors and creeds. She even ventured beyond the United States, delivering a keynote speech at the International Congress of Women in Berlin in not one, but three languages. From fighting against Jim Crow racism and campaigning for the vote during the Progressive Era, to advocating for the desegregation of private businesses and public spaces. Mary Church Terrell was politically active until her death at age 90. She remains one of the most selfless and effective activists in American history. How do you channel adversity into action?